So in chapter three, you talk about your SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us about that? Yes, uh, SWOT analysis is a traditional marketing tool that stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And now that you have your vision that we talked about in the previous piece, now you have to ask yourself if anyone gives a damn, essentially. So does anyone care about your vision? What you're doing is, is you're getting outside of your own self and you're going, okay, world, um, what's happening? Um, where is the world going? Um, is my idea or vision truly a profitable opportunity. Now this might be difficult for artists to kind of understand because artists are very internal and very creative right. and they create stuff and just kind of push it out there in the hope that everybody loves it. But hope is definitely not a strategy. What we have to do is we have to look out in the world and say, okay, where is there maybe a niche in the marketplace or where is there a void in the marketplace where I might be able to fill it better than anybody else. And obviously, uniqueness is the most important thing to the success of an artist. So this is a good thing. It's forcing people to actually be unique and be more creative. Right. So then once you have that, you have to ask yourself, do you have the strengths to go after that opportunity? And strengths would be internal, so like your skills, your financial resources. And then, of course, weaknesses are the opposite of your strengths. And the idea behind acknowledging your weaknesses is then to ask yourself, what am I going to do about them? You know, right. Are we going to try to convert them into strengths and how are we going to do that? All right? And then threats, again, is looking outside in the external marketplace. That is looking at competitive factors and things like that. And just being realistic about some of the, the, the downsides of pursuing this particular opportunity. It could be a number of things. I mean, it could be the simple factor that you know, wow, I'm not yet a citizen of the United States. <laughs> I, have to, I might have, to, you know, green card issues, and I might, right. we might not actually even be able to stay in the United States. So how are we going to deal with that? You can't just cross that bridge when you get there. Totally. You know? So that's really the essence of SWA. It's a very important tool to use. So a lot of that is kind of predicting where your genre is going and kind of making your next move off of that, essentially. It's not a difficult thing to do. Um, a lot of times what you can do is you can get, you know, you can actually get, um, you know, research uh, that's already been published, secondary research. You can kind of see if there's anything that's being written about, like new trends and things that are happening. And you can also do your own research as well, primary research, by doing just observing and maybe conducting tests and asking people questions and that kind of thing. This is, a, this is very, very important to do, and it might be a little difficult for a lot of young artists to, to do, um, but I think it's essentially something that people do naturally anyway without knowing they're actually right. doing it. So the, the advantage of actually understanding these tools is that you, you don't, you're not going to stumble onto them. You know, they'll be at your fingertips and you can use them to, to your benefit, obviously. Right. Well, this was definitely one in my own marketing plan that helped me the most. So. Oh, good. Yeah, I, I think the idea, I like the Wayne Gretzky, uh, you know, qu quote where he says, you know, the key to his success is, you know, don't skate where the puck is, you know, ultimately to skate where the puck is going. Right. So, so. we'll talk about uh, the next thing. I think we'll talk about what? In the next, uh, in, in next footage, we'll talk about testing and feedback. So that'll be the next thing we'll talk about. Perfect. Sound good?